Marnie Simpson has reportedly quit MTV's Jeopardy Shore after five years. The reality star, who shot to fame on the Ruckus reality series in 2013, will be completing her run on the current 16th series of the show and then will move on, according to The Sun. This comes hot on the heels of the brunette, 26, sharing her controversial thoughts on the show's authenticity in a now-deleted tweet on Wednesday, branding the series fake and scripted. Scroll down for video Marnie has been known for her fun-loving and wild ways on the Newcastle-based reality show since 2013. Her run on the show has seen failed romances to the likes of Aaron Chalmers and Scotty T and she also came out as bisexual in 2016, making her the show's first LGBT member of the cast. And speaking of her desire to cut ties with the show, a source told the publication, Marnie has loved her time on Jeopardy Shore but it's time for her to move on. She will still be around for this series but that's it, she won't return for the next. It was continued. Mail Online has contacted representatives for Marnie for further comment. This comes after Marnie deleted one of her tweets on Wednesday, in which she branded the show fake and scripted. This came after King fans jumped as they noticed her birthday was filmed months ago in the show's latest trailer, despite turning 26 on Tuesday. The South Shields native responded to an eagle-eyed fan, who realized her birthday celebrations in the teaser for an upcoming episode. Jumping back at the eager fan, Marnie replied, It's cause it's fake and scripted, which has since been removed from her social media account. Mail Online has contacted the show's representatives for comment. The Miss Newcastle runner-up appeared to put the drama behind her as she shared a sizzling hot snap later that day. Captioning the picture cocktails tonight, the cousin of co-star Sophie Kasai showcased her sensational hourglass figure in a monochromatic tartan dress, which skimmed in her toned thighs. Holding on to her luscious mane, the stunning brunette opted for full-on glam makeup as she enhanced her beauty with rose blush fluttery false lashes and clear gloss. Her recent session on Channel 5's In Therapy featured several shocking revelations, including that her father died last year and that her mother leaving home led her to suicidal thoughts. The star also opened up about her education, or lack thereof, and how she worries about life after Jeremy Shore. When asked by therapist Mandy Saligari about her life at school, Marnie admitted, I didn't really do very well at school so I've got no qualifications whatsoever. Mandy then asked what she's like when it comes to reading and writing, to which Marnie replied, I'm not that good. I find it really hard to read a book, I don't know why. I can read, but I find it hard to put it in my head. I can't read like that. I'm not very good at putting the sentences together, I find it quite difficult. Thinking forward to the future, Marnie went on, it's scary. The job I'm in now isn't forever. Having qualifications is a form of security, something to fall back on. I have nothing to fall back on it gives me doubtful insecurities about myself. She went on, I was really bad at school. I didn't enjoy it I never went I would go elsewhere. I rode with teachers and be like I'm not a kid. I was rude, had a bad attitude, didn't have any time for them, had no respect. I thought why are they telling me what to do? If I went to school and had an education life would be different. I wanted to be a dental nurse, and I was failing all the tests. I didn't have the education in my mind to pass all the exams and that makes you feel like you can't do what you want to do. Marnie's mother Sharon Kenny appeared on the show in a separate interview, 
saying, she'd go into her first few lessons and I'd get A.